Yo, ho, ho, ho. what is up, my little cupcakes? <laughs> Alright, if someone figures out where that is from, you will get your comment pinned for this video. Anyways, I'm making this video because I was wrong about my claim that KZ and Tin Hi Fi have inverted polarity earphones. I'm not entirely sure what the cause is, but somewhere in my chain, the polarity is being inverted. I'm assuming it's either at the microphone input or the analog to digital converter, which is my Apple dongle. This is interesting because I was under the assumption that variations sounded sharper and more incisive because the driver was moving towards me during an impulse, but it turns out that it's actually moving outwards. And what really made me like figure out that variations was the incorrect one was because it's literally the only IEM I have which measured with the correct polarity. And the ur 2 se is an IEM which uses an MMCX connector and someone has actually measured this on a gross system and the polarity is not inverted. And the variations has actually been measured by Reference Audio Analyzer and they showed that it has an inverted polarity. So 100% variations is the incorrect one here and the other IEMs I measured have correct polarities, but it really is interesting that I prefer the inverted polarity for the variations. This begs the question, does technical performance have a lot to do with inverted polarity? Because I was thinking, a lot of the IEMs which are considered technical monsters or even headphones are inverted in their polarities. Stacks, Lambda headphones, Hyphum and Susvara, 64 Audio U12T, all the QDC and Ole IEMs, even the variations, Blessing 2. Precog commented on how the Blessing 2 has more incisive bass or something than the Chu, but the Chu has a correct polarity while the Blessing 2 has an inverted polarity. And from my blind test, that's something I observed. Inverted polarity has more incisiveness in impulses. I don't know why this is exactly, but it really is interesting because... When the polarity is inverted, the IEM is no longer minimum phase. It's only minimum phase when the impulse response follows pretty closely to the minimum phase impulse response. It really is interesting, I mean. But at the end of the day, having an inverted polarity is low fidelity, which... Man, the audio hobby is seriously one of the stupidest things on this planet. Anyways, I just wanted to make an apology video to KZ and Tin Hi-Fi. I'm sorry for wrongly claiming that your IEMs were inverted in their polarities because they're clearly not. It's Moondrop's fault, and I'm honestly not sure at this point what if it's a good or bad thing. The main point of yesterday's video was that it is, in fact, audible, and I stand by that because blind tests prove that to be so. Anyways, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. I'd like to give a shout out to Munolos, Ninja Coma 3, Hunter, Vsauce 4, Lin External, Waydacre, Sinivri, Tripped, and Fofo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, I really appreciate it. If anyone else wants to support, please be sure to join the Patreon or the YouTube membership, link down below.